Okay, looks like I got some fur underneath my feed dogs. I had to go in and clean it out, and then um, I changed my needle to just to be on the safe side. Um, I went ahead and finished this one here. I did um, uh, front, uh, front neck seam, arm sleeve, and the first one here. Um, next one is going to be to turn this one down right here. And you're going to do this last so that you're going to cover this up. So all you're going to do is do a straight seam right down that um, front area. If you got a little bit too much threads, cut them off here. You shouldn't be able to see those. Okay, let me see where my camera's at. See if I can move you around, better view. Okay, it's getting dark in here already. It's so overcast outside. Okay, so we're just going to go straight down the front. Okay, so we did that arm, front, center front, uh, this piece right here, this piece right here. You can't really tell on this one because it's a little bigger. Okay, so um, now we're going to do, this is, I, I saved this one to show you because this arm is the hardest one to do. So um, I don't think you're even in the camera. Let me see if I can swing around a little bit more. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Okay, this one's the hardest because you've got the biggest curve on this one. So go to the middle of your sleeve. Cut that off. Okay, go to the middle of your sleeve, put a pin in it, okay? And then you're going to come over here and just ease that as flat as you can get it. Okay, because this is the biggest curve you're going to get. So go ahead and put a pin down here. Once you start making these, if you make a lot of them, you don't even need to use pins anymore. So then um, come on up here. And if you'll notice that little curve that we had at the top, it's gone on this curve because you really need all of it. See, there's just it's just flush now. So there you go. So put a pin in there if you need to do that too. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and sew that. Okay, so um, one more, and uh, yeah, see, you can see there's still a little bit of a pull, but not so bad, not, not, not too bad. I don't know, um, there's really not much else you can do uh, unless you make little clips and it's not worth it. Okay, so go ahead and um, do the other side of the front. Because we're going to have, well actually these are where we're going to put the buttonholes and come over and make that front piece. So I don't know if you even want to do that. Uh, 
that would be something I didn't even think about before we started. Um, let's just uh, leave that for now, okay? All right, so we're going to do this one, this one, this one, and we've already turned the other one on here. So let's go ahead and do add one of these to our backs. So um, I'm terrible at cutting strings, aren't I? I just don't do it. Okay, so we want to put right, uh, wrong sides together because we're going to now sew right across the um, um, side seams. Side, side seams is the easiest, so do that first. You may have to feel with your fingers right here where they line up together um, because it's so hard to see through this fuzz. So go ahead and just do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and sew the same thing. Straight stitch right down the side through all of them. You really do need that uh, leather needle to get through that many layers of this um, sheepskin and um, uh, fur. Otherwise you're going to skip your stitches. It just won't work and you'll break needles. Okay, so once you have that, you're going to open up this seam. You're going to open up this side seam. And what you're going to do is you're going to sew here and then you're going to sew here. So it doesn't matter. You can sew up or sew down. I don't think it really matters. I've done it both ways and it doesn't seem to make any difference. So open up that seam, go to the very edge, and basically what you're doing is you're just sewing it to hold it open. Let me try this way. Maybe it'll be easier. Get that to lay flat. I tried doing it just in one stitch all the way around and because um, you do see a little bit of the sewing even though it's uh, over the fur it doesn't look quite as nice as if it's just a straight stitch so um, I don't make the I did the square on the um, pockets the fake pockets and you can see exactly where that stitching is side seam is done. This one and this one. Okay, so that one seam we have left on this one side that we haven't done yet, go right to the middle, push up, put a pin in it, There are a lot of birds outside. They must be freezing out there. It's supposed to be zero tonight or something like that. That is cold. I don't know what it is out there now. I can't see the... Can't see it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Straight across. to do the shoulder seam. We're going to, um, if you have too much um, fur here that you don't like, just trim it down. 
See how I had that one where I turned it up and I didn't see, you can see some of that brown that you don't like? Just cut it off. See. There you go. Just trim it down. If you don't lift the fur is too much fur, trim it down. Okay, so there is that one. So now we're going to do the um, top sleeve. Now, um, you might not get an even one here. It might be, uh, because of the way you turned it down, it might not fit exactly perfect. It's going to be close. So what I do is I just go to the dead center. Just go dead center and line them up. And um, if it's a little off on one side, no big deal. Nobody's ever going to even tell. You're never going to be able to tell the difference. So let's go ahead and show that. Okay, same thing. You're going to open up this seam and you're going to sew it just like we did the side seams. Just open it flat, just like that. Sew it across on both sides and um, it'll look just like this. Okay, I'm going to finish it until we get to that one point where we have the buttonholes to do and then I'll be back. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> 